Today, I cover a power meter hack or bodge for the Shimano GRX 810 group set. Mrs. Llama has a gravel bike on loan and for the last few weeks hasn't been tracking rides with power. So I needed to come up with a cost-effective way of doing this. As with a lot of hack or bodge solutions, there's usually better options to go with and I will cover those at the end of the video. But if you're after a temporary solution or you're okay with the compromises involved, this might be something interesting to know about. GRX is Shimano's gravel specific group set. I won't dive into the group set details as a whole. What we need to know for this hack is that the GRX crank set has a five millimeter wider Q factor than the Shimano road crank sets, pushing out an additional 2.5 millimeters on each side. This allows for wider chain stays and wider tires for the gravel. The 24 mm GRX crank set spindle and the left crank interface is compatible with the Shimano Road left crank arms. So if you have yourself a single sided Shimano based power meter just laying around or you can find one really cheap online then it's possible to use one of these on a GRX crank set. And yes, I did say this was a hack bodge, so it does come with some compromises. If you were to use a Shimano Rode left crank arm with the GRX crank set, to keep the 2.5mm Q factor on the left with the Shimano Rode crank, you'll need to install some spaces to compensate. Some people have asked about shimming on the crank spindle, but that's not what I would personally go with. And secondly, the power meter sensor clearance could be an issue depending on the frame and the power meter used. I've installed the in-peak power meter on a Cervelo Espero 54 centimeter frame with a two millimeter spacer on the pedal spindle and that's been working great. It's still half a millimeter short, so to speak, on the left, but that's not going to cause any issues whatsoever. Some people even use this solution without any spacers and just ride with the 2.5 mil difference on the left. Clearance between the frame and the crank arm itself isn't a problem with the 54 centimeter Espero. It's all about the clearance of the power meter pod or module. As you can see here, it is very, very close to the frame, but the Shimano crank arms are very stiff and don't have a lot of flex at all. My ruler here is exactly one millimeter thick and won't fit between the pod and the frame, so it's very close. After a number of rides, I have been checking the frame just for any rub marks or scrapes, and there are none shown here. So all is looking good, even with that additional ride wrap protective coating installed on the frame right where that would rub. Okay, so with no problems at all using the in-peak power crank 172.5 on the 54 centimeter Espero, I'm going to remove this left side crank now and install the other single-sided Shimano based power meters that I have in the Llama garage to see if they also fit. Okay, the second crank I'll try is the Stages Gen 3. Again, same length, 172.5. And we can see once that's installed, there's a ton of room between the power pod and the frame, fitting my one mil ruler in there and the three mil Allen key, no problems whatsoever. So it's a pass with the stages Gen 3. Next up, the four eyes, same length, 1725. And the pod there, a lot closer than the stages, probably about the same distance between the frame and the power pod as the in peak. Just can't quite fit that in there, but I can still see daylight between the two, so I'm sure that will work just fine. Next up is a Pioneer unit with an absolutely massive pod and as expected, that's a no-go. It's touching the frame right there, it comes straight off, not a good solution. Onto our lesser known unit, the Machine Ridge, single-sided, getting that installed, probably about a two millimeter gap, my millimeter ruler fits through there, no problems at all, so that's a pass on that one. And finally, the XKD X Power. And the pot on this is a little further out, meaning there's a ton more room there. So easily passing the one mil test and also easily passing the three mil test. As mentioned at the start of the video, there are better solutions than this hack or bodge. And if you're going to be buying new or on your forever bike with GRX, you want to look at something like the Stages GRX offering, the Four Eyes, or something from InPeak using the GRX specific crank arm. Okay, wrapping this one up for today. So there we have it, a Rode left-only power crank on a GRX crank set. This solution has been working perfectly for what we've needed on this gravel bike. But as I said, if you're looking for something permanent, I'd lead towards the GRX specific crank arm with the power pod, a spider-based power meter, or maybe investigate those Asiomas with the SPD pedal body hack. As always, thanks for watching this one, and I'll be back with more soon.